Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Lasso Tools let you draw either freeform selections with curves or straight-edged selections for irregular polygonal selection shapes. The Magnetic Lasso Tool is a really neat selection tool that allows the selection's border to snap to the pixelated edges of an element within the image that you trace. This can be very useful for selecting objects with complex, irregular edges set against a high contrast background. Because each tool behaves differently, we will have to look at how you can use each tool in the set on an individual basis. Let's start by examining the Lasso Tool. To use the Lasso Tool, click the Lasso Tools button in the toolbox. Then in the Tool Options bar, be sure that the Lasso Tool is selected. In the Tool Options bar, you can select the type of selection that you want to make, just as you did with the Marquee tools. Then, to create a selection, click and drag with the mouse to draw a freehand selection. Trace the outline of the area that you want to select making sure that you drag it back to the origin or starting point. If you release the mouse before dragging it back to the starting point, elements will draw a straight line from where you stopped dragging back to the origin point for you. If you wish to draw a straight line as you are drawing with the lasso tool, note that you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click where you want the line to be begin and where you want it to stop to create a straight line. This will draw straight lines between the points at which you click. To use the Polygonal Lasso Tool, click the Polygonal Lasso Tool button in the Tools Options bar. In the Tools Options bar, you can once again select the type of selection you want to make, just as you did with the Lasso Tool. To use the Polygonal Lasso Tool, click from point to point where you want to draw a straight line for your selection. Once again, you want to end by clicking on the initial starting point of your selection. You will see a small circle next to the Lasso Tool icon when you are holding it over the starting point. Click at that point to finish the selection. Also, like the Lasso Tool, if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard while you're drawing, you can draw a freehand line until you release the Alt key. So this is the inverse of the behavior that happens with the Lasso Tool. To use the Magnetic Lasso Tool, click the Magnetic Lasso Tool button in the Tool Options bar. Then look at the options that you can set in the Tool Options bar. The first few options are the same that you can set for any of your selection tools. However, the Magnetic Lasso Tool has a few more options. The first is the Width Slider. Here you can set a pixel range from the pointer within which the Magnetic Lasso Tool will look for the border of the item of which it is tracing. Next you can set the Contrast Slider as a percentage. This sets the sensitivity of the Magnetic Lasso Tool to variations in the contrast between pixels, which is how this tool finds the edges of image elements. Setting a higher percentage sets the tool to only find edges that sharply contrast with their surroundings. A lower number detects lower contrast variations in color. The Frequency Slider allows you to set a number between 0 and 100. A high value increases the frequency with which the Magnetic Lasso Tool sets its fastening points for the edge of the image element as you trace its border. The Feather Slider softens the edge of a selection. The higher the setting, the softer the edge. If you are using a stylus tablet, you can toggle that button in the Tool Options bar. If selected, the button will have a light gray square around it. If this is on, an increase on the pen pressure causes the edge width setting to decrease. To turn it off, simply click it again. 
Once you have the settings you desire set, you then click and drag the pointer of the magnetic lasso tool around the border of the image element that you are trying to select. As you do this, it will add fastening point anchors where it discerns the edges of the object. If it adds an anchor that you do not want, as you are clicking and dragging, you can press delete on your keyboard to delete the anchor that it created, and then back up and redrag the line. You can also manually click at any point as you are dragging to manually set a fastening point. You may need to do this in crevices and corners of the image element. To finish the selection, trace your way back to the origin or starting point and place the magnetic lasso tool over the origin point until you see a small circle appear next to the tool icon. Click there to close the selection. You can also close any selection that you've made by double-clicking at any point along the way, which will then draw a line from where you double-clicked at back to the origin. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.